Hey guys, Mike Hayden here. In this video, what I wanna show you is a lot of people ask about the wholesale market rates and Amber Electric and is it really worth it? Now I wanna show you a couple of different comparisons, a couple of programs and how I run my house, what I think about the wholesale market and a few other different applications. Now, if you're really considering getting an EV in the future or actually just even watching the wholesale market, I highly recommend an app called Charge HQ. The link will be in the description below. It's a free app. It doesn't cost you anything. Out of all the apps, now Amber does have a really good app to look at on the inside uh, if you're a customer. So you need to be a customer to look at the Amber app. It's a pretty good looking app. Now with Charge HQ, it's the best free app out in the marketplace. And it's got some really good smarts and things that you can look at and understand of how the wholesale market works. Now in Australia here right now, if I was a, you know, an Amber Electric customer, the wholesale market is about one cent. And what Amber do from my understanding is they don't actually charge you the true wholesale prices. They might put a little bit on top of it. They might charge you a bit extra. And same with, with Amber Electric, they have this thing called Smart Shift. So when you're feeding back to the grid from batteries overnight, they'll pay you more. Now, what I've actually learned, I've tried for this for six months and I actually have two solar systems in my house. So um, when I say two solar systems, I've got two battery systems in my place. So this one here, this is my Victron off-grid system. So I've got batteries here, so I can feed back to the grid with this system here. I sort of use this as my off-grid. If the grid was to fail, I'd have power. So I keep this system reserved. I've got lights, TVs, and fridges, and my dedicated circuits. So if there's a grid blackout, is my uh, off-grid system. And then I have this solar edge system, which Smart Shift with Amber Electric, which is basically designed, what it's all about, the Smart Shift, is to take energy when it's really cheap, or it's actually free in negative. So on the wholesale market, when you actually, there's minuses, if you're an Amber Electric customer, when feeding back to the grid, you'll actually get charged if it is negatives. Now, if you think about it like this, if you don't have any solar at all, you'll actually get to be paid to use the energy. Now, I've actually done this myself. We've turned our solar off and we've got, we have some crazy stuff here at my house. We have cryptocurrency miners, we have electric cars, uh, electric oven, which has got this amazing cleaning feature on, which literally just fries everything, pulls them a ton of power to burn everything to crisp. <laughs> it's how it cleans. So we've done a couple of days. We've played around with this market to get paid to use energy for the day. So now from my own personal experience, now there's another option out in the marketplace called getlocalvolts.com. So if you go to getlocalvolts.com, it's another wholesale market. Now with local vaults, we'll jump over here. What it's about with local vaults is it's a peer-to-peer -peer platform. So what this actually means with local vaults is you can actually sell your energy from one person to another on the wholesale marketplace. So you can actually sell from, find a couple of friends or family. What I've done, I've got a couple of businesses signing up. And when those businesses jump on board, I'm going to be selling my excess solar for 20 cents a kilowatt hour. Now, when I'm not selling to those businesses, we have a look at my house right now. Um, you know, my solar is on 17 kilowatts. This battery is full. What's the Victron doing? Um, you know, that battery is still sort of charging over there, You're doing it sing. So we're putting some charge in that battery over there. So my system right now, perfect. The prices have dropped to zero cents. So typical if you're in the wholesale market with Amber right now, you'd be getting paid nothing. They might be charging you or they might be actually rewarding you right now. So as an example, they might have some customers that need energy right now in the marketplace. So Amber might be paying you. Uh, we're on the wholesale market, you'd be getting zero. So, so my understanding with Amber, they manipulate the prices and they sort of do a lot of the work for you to try and, as a customer, what they're trying to do is get you the best result. And, you know, if they've got customers that need energy and you're an Amber customer, of course, they're going to try to sell that from one customer to another and they'll do all this sort of work for you on the back end so that they're not have to buy from the network and, you know, then sell over here. And so they'll try and do that as much as possible. But mainly with Amber, it's all about batteries. And if you're really going to join Amber, I personally, I've fluffed about with this and it becomes a full-time job. I'd highly recommend jump over and have a look at the Amber Electric users group on Facebook and check that out before you get involved. And if there's people making some really great money out of Amber uh, over in the thing. But I'll just show you some of the comments that people sort of see. And, um, you know, basically, there's a couple down here. Um, you, you'll see things over there that like, you know, the wholesale market price was, you know, 12 cents a day and it charged my battery because it was going to try and sell it for 50 cents later on. And all of a sudden the market price wasn't 50 cents later on. It was 13 cents or 20 cents later on. 
So therefore, basically charge the customer's battery for a waste of time. Now, that's not Amber. Um, Amber's smart shift program is actually going off the information it's provided. So really, I think for Amber to really do its thing. Uh, so this is Nemwatch, the market operator. So what happens is the market operator in Australia says, hey, later on, we think demand's going to be up there. We need everyone to charge their batteries and keep them topped up. And, you know, we, you can, we're going to pay your fortune later on. So if you're really into this stuff, you can go to Nemwatch and there's an app on your phone you can download called Nemwatch and actually watch and see the wholesale market prices. So it's not Amber's fault because Amber's and their smart shift, they're actually on the information from the wholesale market. And honestly, the last couple of months, the wholesale market has been pretty bad at predicting what the price is going to be later on. They're saying, oh, there's going to be a whole heap of demand later on and all the Amber customers are getting their batteries charged because that's what they've been told from the market. And then all of a sudden, there's no demand. Everyone decides not to turn their aircons on. It wasn't that hot later on. And the network's like, oh, well, you know, we just charge your batteries for no reason at all. Yeah, so I think Amber is really relying and, you know, if you're onto it and you're watching it, you play around with yourself um, and get involved in the program, it becomes a full-time job, what I've noticed. There's a lot of people that every day they're watching energy prices and things like that. For me personally, I've done it. I've experienced and I thought, you know what, this is way too much work to try and, you know, try and make a bit of buck out of my soul on my batteries and stuff like that. So, so what I've done, the best experience I've had in understanding and the way I do it. So I literally have just found some people for my excess solar of a day to make sure that of a daytime that people are buying my excess solar. I'm using that getlocalvolts.com. So people are buying my excess solar of a day. So I'm getting covered there. So I don't cover the negatives. On the weekends, there's a few times I've been charged um, because you know the businesses I've done deals with, they shut on the weekends and I don't have enough people buying my solar. But that'll change over time as local vaults get more customers on. Or actually be really good if you actually didn't have any solar. Um, so that's what I've done myself with the local vaults. And the way I think about my batteries, I think Amber is just not ready there for yet at the time. Um, there you go. The prices jump back up to four cents. So if someone wasn't buying my energy right now, I'd be selling it for four cents a kilowatt hour. So I'm pumping 10 kilowatts back to the grid right now. So I'll be collecting four cents. So I think Amber is going to be an amazing product in the future. I think it already is an amazing product. I think the data that they're just being fed from the networks is actually not that accurate at the moment. The networks really need to work on that information for Amber to really shine. And even personally for myself, the way I think about it, the way I've designed my system, I'm not trying to, you know, I've had a go at that, trying to make money buying and selling and stuff with batteries. And what I've found, the best solution for me, there's two things that I do. Keep my batteries charged to make sure overnight that literally... I'd never buy from the grid. So of a day, my system just charges my batteries and to make sure overnight that we don't buy any GM from the network. That's what I've actually found. So rather than try to do the smarts of the batteries and just make sure of a day that someone buy my excess solar. One of the other things a lot of people ask us about, Mike, is what's the best battery in Australia? And I'm going to show you what the best battery in Australia is. Now, here is Australia's best battery. And you can actually buy this and you can use it anywhere in the world. And I've found for me, what we did at home, we actually upgraded our hot water system. Now, you might think, what is a battery? And I think, and personally, I think the best battery available on the market if you're going to spend money is get an electric hot water system and install one of these catch relays. Now, why these catch relays are so amazing, the thing about hot water, what is a battery really at the end of the day? With a battery, you're storing energy, you're putting it away later on to use it when you want. So that's with the hot water and how I've worked out and I've used the catch relay to beat all the smarts. All the smarts I've tried, this here has been the best because I've used the catch relay to heat as much hot water as I can when energy prices are really cheap. So I'm going to pop back over here and sort of explain to you how this works. So normally what a lot of the retailers do or the energy companies do is when there's energy zero or it's really cheap, they change the frequency and actually turn everyone's hot waters on. So what I've actually done, rather than trying to use the Amber Smart Shift or all these smarts with the Victron or my Solar Edge, I've actually just used the catch relay to allow when the network changes the frequencies because they do it when there's excess power and they know there's a ton of excess solar or there's really cheap energy because they want to get rid of it. So I've actually just used my house to set my, my hot water up. So my battery, my hot water battery, because that's all I'm doing is putting energy away later on to use it. When we have showers and stuff like that, we put a 400 liter tank in to make sure we've always got hot, hot water. And that's the only time it gets heated. So we've actually had this tank in for over seven months now, and we've actually never ever purchased any energy. And we've had some really bad weather here in the Northern rivers We've never actually had to buy energy to heat our hot water or pay for energy. So there has been days where the weather hasn't been so good, but we've been really lucky that on those days when we've been heating the hot water from the grid, when the network shifts the frequency to turn everyone's off peak on, 
we've actually been heating our hot water and we're getting paid from the network to heat our hot water. So uh, that's my opinion. If you want to, you know, if you don't have a huge roof space and you really want to get the best battery available in Australia, I'd recommend an electric hot water system with this catch relay. And if you're going to jump on the wholesale market, so if you use getlocalvolts.com and got on that wholesale market, you can actually be charging your hot water for free or getting paid some days to heat your hot water. So if the wholesale market and Amber Electric really excites you and that's what you're looking at, I'd highly recommend that even just probably if you don't have a battery, jump onto local vaults first. So get that getlocalvolts.com and check that out. But first of all, download the Charge HQ app. It's completely free. It's not going to cost you anything. You don't have to change retailers. And you can just actually have a look and watch and monitor it. And the other really good thing about Charge HQ, I've actually really dove into it. It's actually, it plays around with all these wholesale prices. So when it's cheap or when it's minuses, it charges your electric car and does all this fun stuff. You know, you've got different priorities in here to make sure that you charge your, it's the way I set it up, is if my car's plugged in, my car gets charged first because normally I want the car charged, you know, before 10 a.m. in the morning before my wife takes it to work. And then, so my battery doesn't charge. So when the car's gone, then we dump all the excess power into the battery, which is normally when it's minuses or zero. So instead of feeding it back for zero, we're charging the battery and stuff at house, the house and things like that. So um, I'd highly recommend down the, download the Charge HQ app. If you've got a ton of excess solar, go out in the industry and go out in the area and try and find yourself a couple of customers that don't have solar and get them on to getlocalvolts.com. So you can start selling and you can do whatever you want. I've done deals with businesses where I'm selling it for 20 cents a kilowatt hour. So um, that's going to be pretty exciting once these guys sign up and I'm going to get that 20 cents a kilowatt hour all week. And then we've got the weekends where I need to find more people to use my excess solar on the weekend. So it's pretty cool. Um, so any questions or comments, guys, put in the in the links below. Um, but I'd highly recommend that if you're really thinking about Amber's Smart Shift, jump over to their Facebook group. Uh, we'll leave a link in the description below. Join the Facebook group and check it out and see what's happening in there and whether it's for you because it can be a full-time job watching this stuff and um yeah so i think local vaults in the future is coming up some stuff but i think both these companies if you do have a battery and you're, you're tech and you really want to get into it amber could be it i think amber is a great product it's just getting fed bad information from the wholesale market at the moment so i think the wholesale market really needs to work on their data sharing and amber smart shift is going to be an amazing product in the future but i think for right now if you're just a customer has a ton of solar You'd be better off trying to find someone that has no solar and get on the local vaults and try and sell them your excess solar. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Until next time, we'll see you then. Have a great day.